Yeah, emotions of happiness, relief across the nation as Derek Chauvin found guilty on all three charges in the death of George Floyd yesterday. He is now currently behind bars, a convicted felon. Welcome to Start Your Day. I am Mike Hill. Good morning, Sharon Reed. Yeah, good morning to you, Mike. I was just reading a statement by the uh, Minnesota governor who talked about, uh, he, you know, released his statement yesterday saying that, you know, he's grateful uh, that the verdict was an important step forward, but of course, the work yep. continues in, in Minnesota and, and beyond. And I think that's the theme I want to go with. That's what I want to stick with because that is the truth. Yeah, we can be happy right now. All right. It's once again, I'll, I'll go back to the sports analogy. It's like you're in, in the playoffs and you win a playoff game. You're happy. You're going to celebrate it. You just won your conference. You're going to celebrate your popular champagne here and there. But you know when you wake up in the morning, then you go right back to work because the work continues because we have not reached our goal. This is a step in the process. So while we can rejoice and feel relieved, and that says a lot, that <laughs> the fact that we're actually just relieved that we get justice, something that should just be common for any American citizen here, not just black people, but everybody, but the fact that we as black people are happy to receive something that should be given to us says a lot about how far we still have to go in this country. Yeah, and I think, you know, again, you know, if you're holding me hostage and you bring me a plate of food once in a while, some scraps, I guess I'd be grateful. I'd be grateful for some mm. nourishment, mm. but you're still holding mm. me hostage. I have to count yes. on you for those scraps. You're violating me. And, you know, Still I once started. worked at a place where, yeah, we were, the ratings were challenged. Um, mm -hmm. We weren't doing the things that we needed to do consistently to, you know, do the right things. They'll come. That's just, it's really not as difficult as people try to make it seem. It may take a while, but they'll come. And, you know, after one improvement of a sweeps period, someone brought in champagne mm -hmm. and they wanted to have a toast. Mm. Uh, after the late news, I don't drink on the job anyway. I barely drink, so I wasn't going to partake. But it just, to me, sends mm, the wrong message. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> you know, and that's different <laughs> than being encouraging, being uh, a team player. Right. I, there's not a win to celebrate here. There really is not a win mm -hmm. to celebrate. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. this time, mm -hmm. this time, um, the... I don't even know if you could say the system worked. Again, they put together a dream team, spent unprecedented money to support the team, focused a spotlight medical experts flying in the world's leading breathing expert, blue wall broken, people on the stand, the mm -hmm. chief testified. All that. When a 17 year old recorded it right here. <laughs> right. And, and the whole we world had the saw body it. cam footage. We all saw it. We all saw right. it. Right. And Believe so us. I, I don't want to, I, I want to, words matter and I'm still working and struggling <sighs> to come up with the right ones. I am ecstatic no. for the Floyd family. We've talked about them. I don't know them personally. We've both talked to them. Uh, multiple times, mm -hmm. they're good yep. people. They're good people yes. who didn't deserve this. Their brothers mm -hmm. should be here. Mm, but no one does. It, it's not. Yeah, it's not that. It's not exactly a win. If I have to do all of this, if I have to do all let, let of me this say something to score a conviction. It's, it's a conviction. It's justice in this case but it's not justice for the overall goal. It's a win, but we don't have justice until change comes, when this is common, when this happens where you're not even surprised, like you go in and you're not uh, full of anxiety and angst, wondering if it's going to go mm -hmm. your way this time. We've seen convictions before. Mm -hmm. We saw Walter Scott's mm -hmm. killer get convicted, go to jail for 20 years. Uh, the killer of Botham Jean, go to jail for 10 years. So we've had these wins along the way, but we've had too many uh, that didn't even get a trial. Breonna Taylor's of the world, you know, <laughs> Tamir Rice's of the world, Eric Garner's, and some of these people who actually killed these 
black men and women back on the job. I mean, so that lets you know how far we still have to go. So we'll take this win, but we also know that there's a long road ahead and that is why it is so important to stay alert and to stay vigilant. We're about to talk to somebody from Black Lives Matter, but it's not just Black Lives Matter. It's people in Congress, people in the Senate, obviously. And you talked about that. Uh, if only Congress, you, you, you mentioned this in the last, if only Congress would lead like those people on the sidewalk who use their phones, right? And maybe the jurors, if only they would do their jobs. But the problem is they actually want to because they'll look at this, Sharon, as, oh, <laughs> they won. Everything's okay. We mentioned in 2008, mm -hmm. oh, there is no racism anymore. You got a black president. What are you complaining about? There is no racism. People still don't want to admit there's racism or white supremacy in this country. That is the issue. And Sharon, I'm going to take what you yeah. always say. Until you see me and see us yeah. and hear us, the fight will always mm -hmm. continue until we are looked at as equals and treated more yeah, Joe Manchin. as equals. Yeah. When Joe Manchin is uh, so pained over mm. the lives, the loss of black lives, as he is the filibuster and what it means to end it in the institution <laughs> of the Senate. Then we could talk, Joe Manchin, really? Really? Do uh, I have to move to West Virginia uh, where I think they're offering that tax break, that credit, that financial incentive just to vote him out? Um, but mm. you're right. Progress to me will be when police officers on active duty uh, or at least current police officers join Black Lives Matter. That's mm. progress. And don't under, and understand that that is a statement that means we love you and we want to be part mm -hmm. of that love. When police they officers could be on take the right streets side. and say, my God, thank goodness Chauvin was convicted. We can shed this clown and say, we're not with him. Thank you. Thank right. you for holding us right. accountable because we've been trying from the inside and no one would listen to us. When I hear that, we can keep pedaling forward. Um, but, you know, it's just something that Do us we're right. going to have to just keep our foot on the gas. Um, and so and, with that, and, and, we and ask. If, if they feel, that, they, go, go ahead, I'm sorry. If they feel strongly no, 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 about something, they'll, they'll, they'll get involved. Because they got involved on January oh, yeah. 6th, right? You saw mm -hmm. all those law enforcement people yeah. get involved when <laughs> they uh, Not a perpetrated few. a lie. Not just a few. They, perp they, they, they perpetrated a lie. So if they can go and start an, an insurrection or be a part of an insurrection, they can be on the right side, the right side of the law, <laughs> and basically fight for what's right, and that is racial equality when it comes to policing uh, in this nation. Bottom line. We'll yeah, see wanna, if they do it. We'll see if they got a heart. This yeah, I, I want to take this post-verdict morning and instead, I love Ben Crump, I love Al Sharpton, I love the people who are on the front lines, I love Black Lives Matter, but I want every reporter to turn and put a microphone in a police officer's face. I want their mm -hmm. reaction to the verdict. That, mm -hmm. to me, will be very oh, yeah. telling. The unions. Um, so, yeah, but, yeah, but how will it? Yeah. How will the verdict impact mm -hmm. the fight for racial equality in the community?